one. It's a genetic condition that causes cancer of the nerves. Right now, there's no cure, but WFMY News 2's Manning Franks met some High Point University students looking to change that and how it's personal for one of them. A lot of the times we are simply testing, you know, you have two kinds of cells. Can you kill the cancer before you kill the healthy cells? And that Dr. Robert awkward. Coover has been working on a cure for neurofibromatosis 1, or in F1, for the past four years at High Point University's School of Pharmacy. NF1 is a genetically inherited disease uh, that predisposes patients to tumors of the nerve and a number of cognitive issues. And by nature of it being inherited, uh, it is an immediate impact on pediatric patients. It happens or occurs roughly in one in 3,000 people. And what I like to say is that is not only is that a lot more common than you might think, but it's the most common disease you've probably never heard of. This summer, he's worked with HPU students to research Absolutely, possible yeah, treatments. With maybe a little bit smaller of a dot, but uh, yeah, definitely. I think we've made progress. We're definitely running a lot more experiments in the summer than we That's are during the school good. year. For research assistant uh, Priya Thornton. I'm looking to see how confluent they are. So basically like how much empty space there is. Her desire to work with Dr. Coover and conduct this research is a personal choice. My mom had breast cancer. Um, she was diagnosed when I was in sophomore year. Um, it was stage zero, but it definitely still hit our family hard. It was like the first person I knew per personally. Give it a couple of washes with TBST, and then we'll make the next primary antibody solutions. Dr. Coover can relate to that all too well. One of my siblings and, and my father uh, had the disease, and, and both of them are uh, no longer with us today. So I use that as a large uh, source of fuel, motivation, and just general passion to continue to work on uh, the whole aspect of the disease. Now with proper funding he's received from grants, he's hoping this passion for NF1 research lives on in the students he works with. My genuine hope is that the students will do better than me after they're done here, whether that's to go on to the next level or go straight to their jobs uh, and if it's to continue research at whatever level, I, I hope that they'll take from here some amazing things and go do it. Dr. Coover says that they're getting ready to publish some of their data on the cognitive issues of NF1. He's hopeful that they can start making a real-world impact on patients very soon.